His name's Henry. Um, mowers and blowers. Mowers and blowers. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good afternoon. Today, I'm gonna be doing another review. I got this box from my friends over at Allegiant. This is a wireless handheld vacuum cleaner. You can plug this in using USB and you can use it in your car or in your garage or handy times where you don't have to lug out a big vacuum cleaner to use, you know? Just to pick up some dust here and there. Like maybe near your fireplace where you get ashes all over the mantle or on the, on the base area. You just pick it up, let's open the box. So this is the hose. I'm not gonna lie, this hose is very flimsy and cheap. Very lightweight, very soft. You can squeeze this and just, you can just, you feel like this is, you can just break this. This is, this is very cheap feeling. Um, almost kind of like wiring harness covers, you know what I mean? So that, I'm not impressed with that. Some attachments for sucking. <laughs> Instructions. Come on, man. It's a vacuum cleaner. Forget about it. So here is the... Uh, this is good weight. Very sleek design to it. Handy holder here. This is the uh, inlet. On and off button. Suction is not very good for me, maybe just for like dust and stuff, but I'll test this out in a minute. So it's easy to use, on and off button, that's it. Uh, to charge it, you have a standard USB connection to uh, charge it. Um, this is clear, so that when you plug it in, it's red, and then when it's fully charged, it turns green. So this is a dual element light in here that indicates whether or not it needs charging or not. And it tells you when it's full. And the only other attachment in here is this thing. So this is like for carpets in your car or something. You'll plug this like maybe onto here. There you go. So you can reach it. It is very handy though. You can just put this in your glove compartment of your car. And I can keep, it, keep this around my garage because sometimes I have mowers and stuff that have a ton of dried oil on them or uh, grass particles, whatever, you know. So you just want to clean that part up with this little brushy thing. Let's see how to mount this. Oh, I see. Okay, I gotcha. All right, okay, I got it. That doesn't seem like it sticks very well. This doesn't seem like it sticks very well. Maybe I take that out and put this in. That doesn't really go. Okay. It's an adapter coupler for that. Then you can put this on here, right? <laughs> see? Who needs instructions, man? You don't need instructions. Ah, I see. So th And this one fits on this one that can couple to this. <laughs> you put that on. Oh, look at this. I've got all the attachments onto one thing. So in hard to reach areas, you can have this on, see? And use this to do that. All right, that's pretty cool, you know? And this is flimsy because it's super lightweight and very flexible, you know what I mean? So that's why it's flimsy. Uh, it feels cheap, the hose I mean, right? But I think there's a reason behind it, you know? If it wasn't flimsy and cheap, right? It would be a little heavier and it would be a little bit less flexible. You know what I mean? So, you know, time will tell how long this holds up by doing this. I'm just going to sit here and go like this all day. So, looking around my garage while I'm making this video, 
You can see that my garage is in complete disarray because it's got uh, blown in leaves and stuff. And uh, obviously we're not gonna try to suck that up because it won't work, right? That, that, this, is, this is a vacuum cleaner for dust and stuff. I'm sure it'll do just fine with dust. But here's my lawnmower and I've got some, some debris there. Let's just try it real quick. guys get the picture right if it picks up that kind of crap it's gonna pick up dust ashes whatever you need you know what I'm saying just particles from your car or whatever it's not a shop vac so you don't expect it to suck up all the leaves that are over here or anything big <laughs> whatever that will fit through there it's gonna suck up uh, let's 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 drain this so you can see what's in there right got a HEPA filter on there that you can change, right? And obviously, as you can see from the uh, inside mechanism, when you have it on, the flap goes, uh, opens from the suction. When you turn it off, the flap closes. So it's kind of like a check valve, you know what I mean? It'll go in, but nothing will come back out again. So if you want to just empty this thing, you just turn this counterclockwise one click, right? Take the HEPA filter out. Okay, good isolation. The HEPA filter is wrapped with a sticky coated, almost like silicone based rubber washer. And you just uh, empty it. You just emptied it onto your floor. It's my garage. I don't care. I don't know. Your garage is dirty. Oh, shut up. There you go. Stick this thing back in again. It has these grooves there, so you can't shove it in all the way. You following what I'm saying? These small little grooves there prevent the um, filter from going in all the way, so it lines up perfectly like that, so it's pretty well designed. Pretty easy to use, pretty handy around uh, your for your car or your garage or your basement. You know, just quick cleanups, you know what I mean? Because it's small, lightweight, sleek looking. It seems to work well. Let me take this off and show you. Very cool. So this is model EGH VC2, Echo Golf Hotel, Victor Charlie 2. Power 7.4 volts. And inside has a two by 2000 MAH. I think that's milliamps per hour, right? Very cool. So that's it. That's what it comes with. I've got every attachment it came with on the device at one time. So that's a cool little nifty little vacuum cleaner. Very portable and handy, you know what I mean? I've had car vacuum cleaners before, but they're a little bit bigger. You know, the kind that you shove in your cigarette lighter. This is cordless and rechargeable. A lot better quality than those things, you know what I mean? And those things I remember cost between $25, $29.99, one of those things. You guys know what I'm talking about. Everybody had one, you know? You never use it though, but because you always have to go and get it from your trunk and plug it in. This one you just put in your glove box, pull it out and use it, you know? And with te today's technology, the suction's better than the old style, you know, the motors and stuff. Uh, 
This being rechargeable makes it really handy, you know? It's pretty cool. I like it. So this sells for $24.99 on Amazon.com. If you check the description below, I'll have a limited time offer promotion where you can use a code and maybe save a few bucks on the $24.99. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's review of my Allegiant cordless rechargeable car vacuum cleaner. Comes with some attachments to make your life easier. Easy to use, lightweight, sleek looking. On and off button, that's all you need to know. All you need is this and some dust. Thanks a lot for joining me. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.